You did it. Congratulations. So tell us, what has your time been like at CFNI? My time at CFNI has been a life-changing experience. It's been three years where the Lord has um, just healed my heart in different ways. It has been amazing and lots of up and downs, but mostly I'm very glad that I went through it all with God. Uh, the Lord has brought me on this land. It has been so good for me to meet with different people from different nations. Uh, we share cultures and we share the Word of God and uh, mostly the love from the God, which is the Word of God. My time at CFNI has been amazing and also I get a lot of uh, spiritual blessing more than I ask. My time at CFNI has been life changing. It has transformed me from the inside out, and I'm eternally grateful for that. When I got to CFNI, I didn't know what it was truly to be a son of God. I knew about God from reading about Him in the Bible, but CFNI taught me to worship. CFNI taught me who I was in Christ Jesus, um, and it removed some idolatry in serving Him and doing things for Him to where now my heart is just in love with Him and only wants to be with Him. And I owe that all to CFNI. I never experienced being a leader in my life until I got to CFNI. Um, I've always felt like I didn't belong anywhere, but when I came to CFNI, God really used this place to usher me into the call of God on my life. So this experience has been, it's been a long journey, it's been a lot of tears, it's been a lot of fighting, it's been a lot of perseverance. The main thing that God has taught me here in the experience is just to persevere and to fight and to know that no matter what, that I'm a son before anything. One of the most important things that I learned while here at CFNI was that worship looks different and you don't have to just be on the front row. It can be while you're at the back of BIB, while you're standing or sitting, dancing, singing, it can be anything. One of the most important things that I've learned at Christ for the Nations has been that missions is important and it is for all of us, not just a few of us. To know the love of the Father, but in a very uh, real way, in a very deep way. Just by receiving His love and freely accepting it, then it puts me in a position of security. And from that, I just can get to know His heart for the people around me. One of the most important things that I've learned here is that the Lord is the Lord of generations. So just like it says in Matthew that He is a God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, I see that in my life as He was with my parents, my siblings, and now me. My favorite class is children and family major classes. Uh, I knew that I, ha I have a call for children and family. Children and family classes has taught me how to serve effectively in ministry. The creation science. I have a bachelor degree in uh, chemistry and biology. So I connect the concept taught by Dr. Dennis Lenzi. I just connect the secular education concepts with the biblical concepts. Ecclesia and social reform with Craig Muster because it had just so much easily applicable revelation that really changed the way I live and even I engage with God. Homiletics for sure is one that was amazing. I took it with um, Pastor Howler, which was amazing. And also all of Susan Bolduc's class, I highly recommend. Just the children and family major in general has definitely been my favorite class because I'm learning practical ministry, but not just that, I'm learning how to be a kid again. Things that I missed out of my childhood, I've never, I didn't grow up in the church, so being able to learn how to do arts and crafts, it's a beautiful thing. Being learned how to sing preschool songs, it's a beautiful thing to be able to do that, but add Christ with it, because I didn't grow up, I didn't grow up with that. I feel the Lord leading me to pursue high, higher education on the psychology field, family psychology and organizational psychology. I feel like the Lord really puts in my heart to know how the gospel will be manifested in those two areas. Yeah, after CFNI, um, my dream would be to be full-time in the ministry, uh, preaching the gospel. That's my dream. I will be joining Dean Elijah this summer on leading a outreach to Liberia. I have to go back to Tanzania. I feel like I want to go teach the Word of God in my local church. Before CFNI, I really did not know who I was and I was just filled with insecurity and fear but now 
Graduating CFNI, I can confidently say that I know who I am and I know who my father is. Before CFNI, I can say I was very shallow in the Word of God. But here at CFNI, I feel myself that I am rooted into the Word. Before CFNI, um, I was pastoring along with my late husband. And after his transitioning, I was led to come here for healing. So I came in um, a grieving widow, and I'm leaving out of here an empowered woman of God. To my fellow classmates. To my fellow classmates. My fellow graduate. Guys. Fellow classmates. Keep your eyes on Jesus as we're going through this transition. We don't know exactly what the future holds, but we know that He holds our future. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and do not lean on your own understandings. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He will direct your path. We have the foundation, so now let's get moving in faith. Don't forget the equipping that you received at Christ for the Nations. Remember that you are a world changer. Now let's go out and do it. We made it. I'm proud of all of us, and I want to encourage all of us that this is just the beginning. Do not let the fire burn out. He who called us, he who has kept us this far, is faithful to keep us the rest of the way. I am honored. I got to graduate, study, and continue on with the rest of you. I love you all. Be blessed.